My name is Calvin Machaila. I was working as a community health worker and we work outside of the clinic. We collect some information for the department. We, we do some researches, we, we engage with the community, we talk to people, we go into the household. I had like a lot of discussion about like why people were not getting better, what's not working in their, in, in their medication. And I, understand, I understood that people took the medication as prescribed by the doctor, but the problem is that they were not recovering from their illnesses. I realized that the problem was that some of the people have food and some of them don't have anything at all. But the other problem is that those with food, they don't have the right food. The Tladi Gemeenskapsklinik lay in the Harki van Soweto and is specific daran toegewee om mense rondom die district te dien. Onder andere, a groot hoeveelheid patiënte wat aan chronische siektes leid. Die Sibatlai Gemeenskapsproject is op die Tladi Gemeenskapskliniek se erf opgerig. Dis dier Dr. Sky gestig, wat gesien het dat daar een groot gebrek aan die voorziening van een basis en menselijke behoefte is. I noticed that, well not I noticed, but I started having to give my lunch away every single day because I was seeing so many patients and when I asked them about their compliance to their medicines, they said they weren't taking them. And when I said why, they said that they didn't have food. So taking ARVs and TB treatment on an empty stomach um, invariably makes anybody feel very ill. Because I don't have money, there's nothing that I can do to, to give to those people without food. I just need to find a way to, um, like a better solution towards the problem. People needed to understand that if you just have like a garden, a bed size of this one here, you can feed your family, or maybe you can feed your family and your neighbor. What I hoped to create was a feeding scheme where all chronically ill patients could have a hot meal not only when they visited the clinic to collect their medicines, but on other days where they needed support. And I'd also hoped that it would be a self-sustaining project where the garden would feed into the kitchen and the kitchen would feed into the community and the community would get involved in the garden and we'd have this really nice reciprocity. I was sort of like asking myself questions like, what can I do? What is it? Like, how can I change the situation? And I realized that there were like an activity here where like, uh, Rachel and Sky and other people were studying a garden. And I realized that when I spoke to them, when I had a chat and, and asked them questions, I realized that they were seeing the same problems that I come across at first, like out there, outside of the clinic. And I joined them. I originally found Subatle community through a dear friend of mine, um, Sky Katsif Scott, who is a GP and she had started a soup kitchen here at the Kladi Clinic, which is the grounds that the garden is on. Um, and we were sort of looking at the bigger problem of how to solve for hunger in the community, specifically with her patients. I was coming every day, planting seedlings. We had amazing volunteers from the community and the ladies in the kitchen cooking, obviously. And Calvin was actually working in the clinic as a community healthcare worker. I had no idea what gardening was. I had forgotten about the whole thing that happened when I was young, which is what my granny was trying to teach me. I came into the garden and I found Rachel and Sky and the other guy who was working with them and like a couple of people, their friends. And I asked them questions. I just wanted to understand what they were doing because I, I somehow sort of realized that that was the solution of the problem that I come across out there. Calvin had the curiosity to come and ask and ask about what we were doing and start to volunteer his time. I asked them if I can join them. They were like very excited and they were very welcoming. And I came in, I joined, maybe I came once a week. Later I came two times a week and then I came every day. Linda and Slapo work in the clinic Sukumbais. En sy is die een wat die koos uit die tuin vir die patiënte voorbereid. I remember when we started here, that was 2013, on the 5th of May. Many patients were very sick. The doctor popped out money from her own pocket. Imagine from 2013. We made sure that the food have taste so that they can be enjoyable. Our patients started nourishing. We saw people 
coming, telling us, wow, look at me now, I'm okay. En dis nie net die Tladi Gemeenskapskliniek se pasiënte wat voordeel uit die Sibatle Gemeenskapsprojek trek nie. Kelvin sy hand met een plant en sy drijfkracht vir huilsame kos het ook sy eie toekomst aangehelp. So Slow Food is an organization that originally started in Italy, but they have chapters all over the world. I was lucky enough to be in Johannesburg when they were starting to pull the Johannesburg group together. Calvin came along with me and I introduced them and I think they started their own conversations and I, everything bloomed from there. And so the next year they sent a group of students from the University of Gastronomic Sciences over. Calvin spent three days with that class of graduates and these students are from all over the world. And I think when they spent that time together, Calvin fit in flawlessly. They just thought, oh, here's the person that we're missing. And about six months later, he was admitted to the school. Gevolglik het Calvin a beurs van drie jaar ontvang en studeer tans aan die Universiteit van Gastronomische Wetenskappe in Italië. Dis een internationale navorsings- en opleidingscentrum wat daarop focus om boerderijmethodes te hernie, biodiversiteit te beskerm en een organische verhouding tussen fijn kookens en landbouwkunde te vestig. Now I feel like I have a purpose, I have something that I need to, I have, there's a hole that I need to fill. I feel like my, my life has changed drastically. Uh, looking back at the day I met the guys from Slow Food, I want to develop programs where we teach people about food, from how you grow it to how you eat it.